Hi everyone, I'm Catherine from CatherineSewing.com. Today I'm going to be showing you how I made this history bounding dress inspired by the Regency period. So I suppose we could call it a Regency bounding dress. Um, it's made of linen and I used a self drafted pattern and it was really pretty, um, a nice easy summer project. Um, if you're interested in seeing how I made this, then just keep on watching. Okay, here you can see my paper pattern pieces. And here are the fabric pieces all cut out in quite wrinkly in true linen fashion. And you can see just how wide that front bodice piece is for all the gathers. Okay, so here I'm just sewing up the bodice seams. I meant to do French seams for the bodice, but I forgot. So these ended up having to be hand felled. Okay, so here is the skirt ruffle. I'm just trimming those to do the French seams and going in for the second pass of the French seam. And there's the skirt with the seams all sewn. Okay, and now I'm just hand felling the seams for the bodice. And there they are all finished. And here I've sewn in a couple rows of gathering stitches by hand into the sleeves before I will be pinning those onto the bodice. There, it's all pinned in. And now it's been sewn in using French seams. Okay, so the next step is to hem the neckline of the dress. And this hem will later become the channel for the drawstring. There it is all finished. And also the sleeves were hemmed, which will also become the channel for those drawstrings. Here I'm just pinning on the skirt ruffle, which has also had a gathering stitch sewn in it. I'm pinning it onto the skirt. And this was also sewn in using a French seam. Okay, so I've attached the skirt to the bodice and now that's been flat felled, but I just missed a spot when I, because I machine flat felled it, so I missed a spot and I'm going back in to hand sew that little section down. And this seam, of course, will become another channel for the waistline drawstring. Okay, so now I'm going in with my scissors and snipping a buttonhole and sewing a handworked buttonhole into the inside of the casing. And that will be where the ribbon is inserted into the casing, or the channel, I should say. Okay, so all those buttonholes have been added to the drawstring channels and I'm going in with the tapestry needle and this narrow white ribbon. And again, this is on the inside of the dress, so it's not supposed to be visible. Now this was the longest process of the making of this dress because as you can see, I had to use pliers to pull the needle through and these casings were very long. It was difficult. 
But finally, it's all done. The magic of video. And there we go. The ribbon is all on the inside and the bodice is nicely gathered. Okay, everybody. So I just finished up my dress this morning and I'm really happy with it. It was really just dragging on and on. It was one of those projects that I kept procrastinating, partly because I was afraid that it wouldn't turn out well. But once I added in the drawstrings and I saw how the bodice looked once it was all gathered up, I was really pleasantly surprised. And I love how the sleeves turned out. And, and yeah, it was an easy project. I recommend Regency dresses if you're looking for something easy and comfortable and that's very wearable day to day. You can't really go wrong because this is a very translatable style to the modern day. Um, if you enjoy this video, then give it a like, leave your comments below, and you also want to check out my blog post on katherinesewing.com where I go into more details about the making process. Okay, everyone. See you all later. Bye.